Shalom, family. Shalom. I am back. Download alert. Download alert. I want to say thank you to the Father, to the Holy Spirit, to the Christ consciousness, and to my ancestors, y'all. The reason why I'm shouting out my ancestors today is because we got to understand that downloads do come from our ancestors because we have what we call genetic memory. And for those of you who've been with me for a long time, you probably watched my video on genetic memory. Um, plasma holds consciousness. In our blood, we have plasma, which holds consciousness. And this is why the scriptures tell us the life is in the blood. And genetic memory is passed down in the blood DNA from, from your parents or your ancestors encoded with things that they already knew or memories, I would say. We talked about this. We talked about the movie Assassin's Creed. So I want to say download alert. Thank you to my ancestors because the downloads is just getting real. Okay. I'm back at it, y'all. I'm back. I know I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back with the jump off. Okay. <laughs> say nothing. So I want to talk about the shape of the earth today. And this is like real serious. I need y'all to really be with me, really hear me, really understand me. Um, I need y'all to really like the video if you feel me. Share the video if you feel me. Don't just watch the video, y'all. <clears throat> Comments. Let me know if you dislike it, what you didn't like about it. Let's talk about it. Okay. <laughs> so, I want to talk about the shape of the earth and why the Indians knew the shape of the earth. Because the Indians know the shape of the earth. And y'all know I tell y'all. That my family is Cherokee and Blackfoot. Um, Cherokee Indian Blackfoot. Um, mixed with. And I feel like I'm connected to the Indians. And this is why the download came to me. This is why it was unlocked in my DNA. Okay. So let's get to it. Now I've uh, months and months and months and months ago. I was... Um, Thinking about that scripture that say, wide is the way to destruction and narrow is the way to heaven, basically. And it got me thinking about the shape shape of earth. And, and this is from my flat earthers, my um, globals, my uh, we got flight boss with the wave earth. This is for everybody. Everybody need to watch this video. Share, share, share. Brother Sanchez with the Flat Earth. I don't really know the globalists like that because I really don't get into the shape of the earth. But this is what everybody need to know. So share, 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 share. Um, and I got to thinking like, okay, so wide is the way of destruction, which would be hell. So as you get closer to the depth of earth it's getting wider and as you get closer to heaven it is getting narrower narrower or narrower <laughs> it is getting more narrow let me just say that um narrow is the path to heaven and it got me thinking like the only shape that i know that's uh wide at the bottom and narrow at the top it would be a pyramid or um a cone and we're going to talk about why earth is shaped like a teepee how it's right in the scriptures and how the indians knew it and this is why they made their homes in teepees this symbology is so crazy now isaiah 40 22 say is it he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth? So the foundation of the earth is circle. And the inhabitants thereof are as the grasshoppers that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. It's telling us right there that the firmament is stretched out as a curtain and, and spread it out 
as a tent to dwell in. It's right there. And as many times as I didn't read the scripture, it never hit me. I mean, I was just like, oh, the heavens are stretched out the firm there. Of course, we know. But it never hit me that it was cone shaped. Now, when I was thinking about the scripture, narrow, uh, you know, why this is the way to destruction. And I was thinking about the earth being cone shaped or pyramid shaped. And I was like, you know, I automatically was like, OK, this is why they put the pyramid on the dollar, because this is the shape of earth. And this is why they put the all seeing eye above it because it's the guy, eye of God, supposed to be the eye of God looking at the earth. Period. But it was speculation for me at that point. And as I said, it was either, I know the scriptures say that the foundation is circular, so that's why I automatically went to cone. <clears throat> but it was speculation for me at that point because I was just thinking about it. See, it was the download. And now it's come, it, it came through clear today when I read the scripture. And I'm going to tell y'all why I was reading the scripture at the end of the video. So it came through clear today. And I was like, earth is really a cone shape. It's really a tent shape. It said, and I, I speculated it, but I, I didn't trust myself. Okay, know thyself. <laughs> Don't get me quote nature boy over here, which is really not nature boy. It's really the Bible. But let me just say, and I'm like, so all this time I overlooked that this, that, um, the heavens stretcheth out. I mean, the heavens are stretched out as a curtain spreadeth out as a tent to dwell in. Now let's get some pictures. It look one, one, one right now, y'all. Let's get some pictures of teepees. Now, real teepees, like this, you can see that they circular shape. They have a circular foundation. They have a curtain on them, and they, they are tents. Just like the scripture said, and this is why I keep telling y'all that in, black Indians is Israelites. Indians is Hebrews. Black Indians is Hebrew Israelites because Israelites is the comedic part of the uh, of the um hebrew is the indian half israelite is the comedic half hebrew israelites are black indian comedic people okay but we are related to both comedic people and hebrew people which are the indians okay i've been teaching this on my video y'all can go on my page for the last year you can go down and watch my Hebrew Israelites is Indians video. My family is Cherokee and um, Cherokee Indian and Blackfoot. So we got the teepee. Y'all can see a circular shape at the bottom and a tent, a, a curtain that's a tent and it's to dwell in, right? Now, I've never thought about this before, but I actually put it right in. I typed it in teepee represents the earth or the shape of earth i forgot to put the shape but it still popped right up in the encyclopedia and i'm just going to read it to y'all so it say how far is it so it say let me go down because it's way down but i'm gonna still go up and read to y'all what that say as well first let's get the uh etymology So I say the etymology of the word teepee, also spelled teepee, comes in English from Lakota language. The word thepe consists of two elements, the verb thy, meaning to dwell. And what did the scripture say? The, the um, heavens is spread out as a curtain and the tent to dwell in. The Indians is getting the downloads because even if they are not, they are connected to the Hebrews. Hold on, y'all. My daughter one moment. Okay. Sorry, y'all. So I say to dwell, which is the exact word used in the scripture about the earth, to dwell in. And a pluralizing, enclitic, 
a suffix-like ending that marks the subject of the verb as plural. Pi, thus meaning they dwell. In Lakota, formal verbs can be used as nouns, and this is the case with thipi, which in practice just means dwelling or house. The tipi is typically of Plains Indians culture, but was also used by other tribes due to the ease of dismantling and transporting them. Okay, now let's go down to symbolism. Okay, because it says symbolism. For Plains Indians, the tipi was more than just a home. It was a sacred space. The circle, a, the circle a sacred symbol of the interconnectedness of all things is the basic shape, the foundation of the teepee. And didn't I just say the foundation of earth is circle, just like the scripture said. The floor symbolized the earth and the walls, the sky, the curtain, the tent, the sky, just like the scripture say. A small altar built of stone of earth was used for burning incense during prayer times. Inside and outside walls could be painted with symbolic designs. Spirit beings, ancestors, and honors gained in battle were common. Um, so, yes. They they clearly say it. I mean, all I did was type in TP is the shape of earth. Okay, listen, pop right up. So, I say a TP, also TP, TP is a conical tent originally made of animal skins of birch bark and popularized by the Native Americans of the Great Plains. Teepees are stereotypically associated with Native Americans in general, but Native Americans from places other than the Great Plains use different types of dwellings, either in addition to or instead of teepees. The term wigwam is sometimes inc incorrectly used to refer to a dwelling of this type. The teepee provided the essentials of shelter, particularly for nomadic peoples. It is adorable, provides warmth and comfort in winter, remains dry during heavy rains, and is cool in the heat of summer. Teepees could be disassembled and packed away quickly when a tribe decided to move and could be reconstructed quickly when the tribe settled in a new area. The portability was important. The portability was important to these Plains Indians with their nomadic lifestyles. Teepees also reflect the spirituality of those who use them. Their circular shapes symbolizing sacred space. When decorated by painting or ornaments, they could take on meanings related to the individual or family who lived in that teepee or the social group as a whole. So Indians, this is why they look at earth as circle. and I, I, I mean, as sacred because the circle is sacred, the earth is sacred. I mean, this earth is circle is sacred. It's the sacred space. Okay, so it's a contemporary standards. The teepee appears primitive, and the Europeans who encountered them when traveling through their land certainly regarded them as such, and their inhabitants as uncivilized. The teepee is, in fact, a remarkable example of human creativity using materials available to them. Tribes were able to fashion dwellings that satisfy all their needs. Unfortunately, the so-called civilized dwellings that were forced to live in on Indian reservations often proved less satisfactory. So we read the etymology. So, I don't know if we really need the construction. I guess you can read that on your own time. I wanted to get into the symbolism, the etymology, um, etc. So, let's see this. Let's say variation. Some teepees in the village would be painted, although most were not. Those that were painted typically were decorated in accordance with traditional tribal designs and often featured geometric por portrayals of celestial bodies and animal designs. Uh, you know what? I have to interject. Not geometric portrayals of celestial bodies because you want to know something? I, when I was recording on my camcorder, when those um stars now i told y'all in previous videos that stars 
was sending me downloads and then I found out about the plasma and the stars being plasma and the member plasma whole consciousness plasmas was in your blood this is how we get the downloads okay I was telling my family like a year ago when all this stuff started happening to me I thought I was going crazy that the stars was talking to me and I thought I was losing my mind so I was recording these stars because I mean they would be right like outside my window like big bright I mean like I used to be like what the heck what are these things like and I mean I've never seen nothing like it before it wasn't like no regular star or nothing it's it's way different but when you record them with um the camcorder they do do like geometric shapes Geometric portrayals of celestial bodies. Stars are celestial bodies. So they they do do a geometric shape. Ain't that crazy? Wow. I'm going to have to get more into my Indian side of my family and see what the, what, what the, what the world. No. Nah, I have been trying out. You know, I've done videos on like, dorm, you know, tracing my family down, etc. So... Um, portrayals of celestial bodies and animal design. Sometimes teepees were painted to depict personal experience such as war or hunting in the case of a dream or vision quest. Ceremonies and prayers were first offered and then the dreamer recounted his dream to the priest and wise man of the community. Those known to be skilled painters were consulted and the new design was made to fit within the traditional fame framework of the tribes painted teepees many teepees were decorated with pendants and colored medallions traditionally were traditionally these were embroidered with dyed porcupine quills more modern versions are often beaded buffalo horns and tails tufts of buffalo and horsehair bear claws and buckskin fringe were also used to decorate teepee covers these attachments are often re referred to as teepee ornaments Modern teepee covers are usually made of canvas. Contempor contemporary uses of teepees include historical reenactors. Da, 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 da. We don't really need to know that. So, I mean, when you look it up, it tell you right on Wikipedia that the etymology means to dwell. And it tell you the symbolism of... It tell you the symbolism of it, which is the earth. Ain't that something? How many times we overlooked this? So now we know the shape of the earth is cone shape. It's a teepee shape. Um, we do not need to now listen. Don't try to debate me on this. Now nah, the Bible do not say the earth flat. Y'all need to quit because the reason why I was reading that scripture, <laughs> the reason why I was reading that scripture. Um, was because I did a previous video called Journey to the Center of the Earth because just like the scripture said, they dwell in the tent inside. The Indians dwelled inside the te teepees. We dwell inside of Earth. We're not on the surface like how they depict all the land masses on the surface. We're actually on the inside. So I did a video called Journey to the Center of the Earth. I actually said that I was going to reveal... Um, the shape of the earth on this video which I kind of hinted at it but I really didn't I don't think I really revealed it that much because like I said it was speculation at that point today it's not speculation today I got time okay <laughs> look <laughs> so it was speculation now today it's not really speculation um but somebody was commenting the flat earther was commenting on that video today about the earth being flat and I was going back and forth with them um, because they were saying that the word stretches mean flat, but it also means to widen and to plot, like to plot dots on a graph and connect them to make an expansion, which is what widen means to expand and uh, what stretches mean when you stretch the surface of something. Of course, the surface is going to be flat, but the earth has depth and we're not at the bottom of earth because that you, you will have to be under the dirt and all of that. So we in the middle on the inside. And this is what I was explaining that we in the inside of earth, take a journey to the inside of the earth. Okay. In that video. So to dwell in, 
So we dwell in earth, not on earth. We don't dwell on earth. We dwell in earth. The scriptures say to dwell in. The Indians said, the Israelites, the Hebrews, the Hebrews said, and the Hebrew Israelites said, to dwell in. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to tell y'all. These downloads is just like, what in the world? So, I don't know if I talked about, okay, the Masons with the stuff on the compass. Let's see if we can get information on that real quick. I mean, circle and square. It's like, I don't know what to type in to, um... Let's say so you got this they got the circle okay and they got the square okay I guess they saying the square equals the circle because what they did was made the um, earth. Oh my God! The the square equal the circle, y'all. Okay, the square. Equals the circle. This is what they're trying to say. They're trying to say, you know, if you was trying to make um. A circle circle shapes out of square stones it would kind of be hard so what they probably did back in the ancient times was use the triangular shape so what I think the Masons know is that the pyramid equals the cone the square equals the circle okay the square the circle inside the square or the square inside the circle how yeah the circle inside the square the oh my god you see the equal sign this is what it's saying, y'all. Blue, just I'm blown away. I don't know what to say. Okay, it's saying the square in the compass logo has a meaning that goes much deeper than merely teaching lessons. Notice how the compass tool on the top draws a circular shape. The square tool on the bottom draws a square shape. When placed together, as in the logo of the Freemasons, the compass tool and the square tool form a square and a circle. The square and circle shapes are related in Euclid's 47th problem of squaring the circle. The 47th problem of squaring the circle. They probably could not build when they when they got to using um, bricks and stone and all that. They probably couldn't make it circular shape. So what they did was start making them triangle shape and saying the square equals the, the, the circle. They was having a problem squaring the circle. Said to be the primary goal of the Masonic craft squaring the circle however does not in this case refer to the mathematical problem it is a spiritual reference to man's instinctive quest to harmonize our phys physical and spiritual natures since antiquity the square has been represented the physical body the circle on the other hand has always represented the soul the square and compass thus symbolizes man's state as an internal soul manifesting in a temporary body. The circle is our spiritual side that cannot be seen, heard, touched, tasted, or smelled. It is our true inner and perfect self. The part we feel we can close our eyes and think me. The compasses, however, are bounded by the square. Our circle is bounded by our body. Think here of a four-sided square and how we experience nature and force the four cardinal points north south east and west the four seasons winter summer spring and fall the four elements earth water fire the four states of matter solid liquid gas plasma which we've been talking about four represents the imperfect physical body as well as earthly desires and carnal appetites that weigh the body down Human life is vulnerable and temporary, temporary in stark contrast with the 
and vulnerable and permanent soul. Okay, so I say this is one sign which has never changed its meaning anywhere in the civilized world. The compass in the square, a sign of the union of the body and soul. The compass stands for the spiritual side of man, while the square appertains to the material world. The square represents matter. In the case of the compasses, the, they represent the soul. And if you are familiar with wisdom and the Holy Spirit in the scripture, it talks about um, she also say, I am counsel, I compass, she say, I am encompass, encompass, and words like that, compass, a lot in the Bible with wisdom, uh, meaning direction. We are fallen angels, sparks of the divine, now experiencing the maternal world as William Ryan's wonderful exoteric poetry, Evening, Fall of Day, illustrates. We have all fallen and descended into matter, which is the material world in which we now live. The two tools, square and compass, symbolize man's double nature after the fall. The compass, as the symbol of the heavens, represents the spiritual portion of this double nature of humanity, and the square as the symbol of the earth, its material, sensual, and baser portion. Interestingly, many scholars and philosophers have remarked upon this type of symbolism in the square and the compass. According to the mystic doctrine, all souls have pre-existence and have descended from the spiritual world into the earthly prison of the body. Ancient mysticism consider and name those souls incarnated on earth as the dead. To die was to incarnate. Death was the tomb of the flesh. And you know what? That's funny because Ashira, I don't know if y'all watch Ashira, actually did a video and said death is not death or something. I forget what the title was. And I commented and I said, that's funny because I was just thinking about that, that people who are alive is more dead than people who dead. That I mean, that we presume to be dead. People who are alive are actually dead. And people who we presume to be dead are actually more living. I wrote that comment on her page and she liked it. So that's funny that it say uh, right here that those souls incarnated on earth as, as the dead to die was to incarnate. Death was the tomb of the flesh. The human body is the tomb of transformation, the grave into which the soul descends for the purpose of working out its own salvation, for transforming and improving itself and descending out of the stronger and wiser for the experience. And ain't this what I was saying about Nature Boy, about... Um, how we're not supposed to stay in our animalistic state, that we're supposed to learn self-discipline, we're supposed to discipline that animalistic nature, um, and we're supposed to move on to our God state, which you know you can't be like, it's all nature, because it's not. Nature is more tied to our lower self, and that's what I said in that video. So let's say the Greek philosophers, philosophers understood this concept and even went as far as to say the soul is in prison in the body because the body must be cared for and must constantly breathe, eat, drink, maintain a constant temperature, fight disease. The body cannot fordor, endure forever and will eventually be destroyed by death, at which point the soul is free again. The soul, though trapped in the human body as we are today, is far from powerless because it is eternal. The soul comes complete with its own inherent powers, powers that can be rediscovered and exercised right here in the material world. Masonry exists not only to reveal to man the presence of his inner soul, but to help him rediscover its higher powers, powers that have been covered up by the very body he inhabits. Uh, the recognition of these inner powers is the key to squaring your circle or becoming a God living on earth as mortal rather than a mortal striving to become a God. This idea is what the ancients call the Vitruvian man. And this is what the scriptures say. That's not your law say I said that ye are gods. Uh, says know how da vinci draws the vitrivian man inside a squared circle the understood the in implications of the masonic doctrine da vinci was not the only famous artist to create a vitrivian man neither was he the only artist associated with both a circle and a square 
So the soul is trapped inside the body and the body is trapped inside earth. I mean, the body is trapped inside. I would say the soul is trapped inside the body and then the body is trapped inside the square system. Okay, and we need to get to the circle. Foundation need to be a circle, okay? I like this. It say this apotheosis is not man becoming a guy or Washington becoming a guy. That's a critical misinterpretation. It's more like man realizing he is a guy already, a soul manifesting as a body or in symbolic terms, a circle surrounded by a square. And I just said that that's what the Messiah said. He said, didn't I say in your law that ye are gods? Like, why is y'all acting like y'all, you know? The heretical thinking of Freemasonry is much different than mainstream Christianity, which is why Freemasons have historically been a secret society. All of this square and compass wisdom is based on ancient wisdom and not just from the ancient culture. The Egyptians and Chinese, two ancient cultures that scholars believe were never in contact, both use a circle symbol to denote the soul within. Okay, so let's say, how long is this? Okay, we had 30 minutes now. I'm about to cut this short. How much longer is this? This is long, y'all. We ain't about to be reading all of this. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Let me see. So, uh, so let's say the chi is the eternal self. The self sprouts pairs of opposites during manifestation. The twin fish symbols inside, one black, the other white. The Egyptian atin is the eternal self also. It was often drawn as a wing disc sprouting twin serpents in wings. Both the tai chi and atin symbolize our perfect eternal soul within or a circle within. Both symbols often appeared above the main entrance to temples and important religious and spiritual buildings in ancient Egypt. The symbol, they symbolize the perfected eternal soul, a state that every human being must achieve, Buddhahood or Christhood. And we've been talking about the Christ consciousness. For the Egyptians, the meaning of life was to recognize that we are not the physical body that incarnates in the world of matter, but the still, the silent soul point within the body that predates the body and acts that survives the body's death. And that survives the body's death, sorry. The circle represents the ominous state of the soul when it is attained full consciousness, is liberated, and lives apart from matter. And this is why the circle is always put on the back of the head saints. The sun, this, the circle. And I already said that that represents higher consciousness. The third eye being opened. This idea is conveyed in the Gothic cathedral facade, the rose window in the center which symbolizes the perfect circular soul within us the rose window is a representation of perfection balance and harmony of the purified soul so masonic buildings are sacred structures of initiation encoded with intricate patterns and artwork that speak to squaring the circle they are heavenly laden with the language of symbolism that modern scholars have yet to decode it's not just the gothic cathedrals and non masonic buildings we see the interplay of squares and circles this is constant masonic geometric theme and spiritual divine light our soul manifesting manifesting in the physical material world our body um these are not just squares and circles these are squares and circles in balance united in harmon harmonious rhythm and a reunion of opposites the art this article then has laid bare the lost secret of Freemasonry. It is that man, it is both square body and compass soul. So I think what the Masons doing is they only trying I mean, I ain't gonna say the Masons, but I guess what the higher ups is doing is they only trying to give you the square part. They trying to keep you in the square. They ain't trying to let you get that circle, okay? <laughs> Gotta get out that square. Don't keep no squares in your circle, okay? <laughs> the um 
this article then has laid bare the lost secret of Freemasonry. It is that man is both a square body and a compass soul. This secret, once a common doctrine in the ancient pagan cultures, had to be hidden away and kept secret from the Holy Inquisition for fear of reprisal. Its wisdom teaches the forbidden doctrine that each of us deep down is a God, encased in matter, a soul inside a body. We can clearly see our body, but the compass teaches us about the part we can't see, the soul. This is the whole idea of initiation into a lost sacred wisdom. The compass and square symbolizes they are symbols of your soul and your body, your soul inside your body. You can learn more about Okay. What? It's more? Okay, no, we ain't reading no more. It said in conclusion. I thought that was the end. <laughs> okay, so listen, y'all. I'm not trying to make this video long. We can always do our own research. The earth is cone shape and the Indians knew it. That's what the title is about to be. The earth is cone shape and the Indians knew it. The Israelites knew it. Okay. That's what the Bible say. We just went through it. And that was deep. My heart is kind of like, I feel like a feeling going through me right now. Okay. So look, I'm going to end it right there. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Shalom family. Until we meet again, I'm going to say, I'm done saying family. Shalom gods. Until we meet again.